Learner, we have been waiting for this for three years. And, and now we're going to be there in three minutes. This is pretty boring. Must not have a red light. This is a story about how we got our RV. And it's not a pretty story. <laughs> it's up, down. But it, it ends on an up. But it didn't start great. But it did. Just got out of the van and the kids just started running. <laughs> They're so excited. Is this not the best moment in a long, long time? Okay, so the one thing we've noticed so far is that driving on this side of the road is not going to be easy. I am on this side, not that side. This is a very strange side. I am super excited. We're finally in the RV. Oh my god, is that a brother in? Is that another RV coming our way? And he waved! <laughs> and he waved, yeah! <laughs> now that first RV we got, it was magical. It was magic in our eyes. We've been waiting for this moment for such a long Everyone time. Everyone was super excited about it. We did a bunch of research. We figured out where we were gonna put stuff in the cabinets. Everyone claimed their bed. The kids agreed to share a queen size bed in the back. We agreed to, sh to slep up, schlep up the ladder and crawl into the little hole and call it our bed. It but had an oven, it had an oven. It had an oven, but, but eventually we had to get it checked. We had to get it Try and fit another solar panel. Yes. And then something happened. Here's what's going on. Um, the van, the the camping car, the RV. We went to install is, the solar is, panels. Is garbage. And Ce camping car là, mm -hmm. il est foutu. It's Au niveau du toit et de l'étanchéité. Il, il a toujours pu ne rien dire et poser un panneau solaire mm -hmm. sur un camping car, comme on dit, euh, très abîmé. I can't do that. He could have, um, could have put it there and said nothing. But yeah. Okay. No, thank you. Tell him we'll be back with our other can, yes. our new one. He was pulling molded wood out from underneath it. The water leaked down the sides, out, like all in the sides. Okay, I'm going to try not to cry. My stomach is churning just thinking about it. My heart dropped and I think I honestly lost a couple years of my life, but... Everything we wanted, everything that we dreamed of, over 48 hours, we went from here to down to here, and we didn't know what to do, guys. It was this... super depressed. I, we were super duper depressed. But we had to act, because we could not just sit and let this happen. Huh. Okay, I wrote, we just went to have the solar installed, and they refused to do it because the integrity of the roof would not support the, the panel because of water damage, rotting, and mold. From my personal experience, I grew up in a home where my parents had mobile homes that they rented. And once there's water damage in the ceiling, in the walls, it's scrap. Like you have to strip it down to the studs and I'm assuming an RV is the same way. Mold and water and rot, you open it up and there's you even often find more damage. We are we're concerned. We think it's gonna take a while to resolve this matter. And it's gonna totally ruin, not ruin. It's, it's yeah, gonna delay our process. It's gonna delay our summer. A couple of thousand dollars that we should not have to be responsible for. So when this video does go out, and it will go out, we know that it's just, there's gonna be a lot that uh, hopefully luck, hopefully all of you, all can, you learn. can learn from. Yeah. Because no one wants to go through what we, we're going through right now. No. no. But, Anyone feeling our pain right now? But lucky for us, the guy who told us about the damage. The guy who was gonna install the solar panel, but did not because he's a good guy. Because he's a good guy. <laughs> he told us about professionals who specialize in this type of work. Basically, whenever there's an issue and something is not what it's supposed to be, there are companies out there which will help you get this resolved. And the company we went to was called Ideas Enterprise. And the gentleman who first told us about this was from Camping Car Avenir, who will always have a special place in my heart. But we took care of it, we went to these people, and we got it officially inspected for the mm. next step. Yeah. Got worse. We are on our way to a second person to um, verify the damage in the van. They're considered a specialist. 
and then so we can document all of it and proceed with the next step in the process of getting our money back. It's not an easy day, let me tell you. We, we need to be working and we should not have to be dealing with this right now. So this is where we're going, Bornado Expertise Automotive. And this is the place that we're gonna have the specialist come and talk to us. Uh, we're going to see if he can actually come to the root cause of the issue and what the actual was the amount of the damage is and how what's going to take to actually fix it or what the value is. Here starts the fun. So this happens a lot. A lot. This happens like people buy kid campers that are bad yeah. a lot. Yes. I'll see something else. Oh. So at this point, they're saying there's mushrooms or, or in other words, mold running all around the bottom here. Este, este no es de origen. El habitación. El habitación no vale nada. No vale nada porque está en fin, en fin para de de agua. It's worth nothing because of all the water. Yep. El camping no vale nada. Okay. All right. So that is the inspection. Was it fun? because it wasn't fun for us. So basically what we found out is that the camping car, so the, the, the living space is worthless, according to this his guy. His exact words were, it's worth nada. Well, because he was speaking Spanish. Because Will got to use his Spanish. But not, is it not a nothing? At the end of the day, <laughs> you know, motor-wise, it's probably fine. You know, emission-wise, it's probably fine because it passed through the local inspection test. But that local inspection test does not cover the living space. And so at this point, he would say that it's worthless as nothing. a RV. Nothing. It's worth nothing. Now, is it worth something to the old owners that can drive it to the ground? Yeah. But for what we paid for it, not no. even close. He also said, which was particularly interesting to me, was that it's actually dangerous to drive it because at any point, the integrity of the roof is compromised and it's rotten. So at any point, this can fall in on us. Okay. So after 48 hours, how long have we had this thing now? After we got here Saturday, say Sunday, Monday. So we've had this thing now back in the air for about 48 hours and haven't shaven, haven't showered. Actually, I did shower, but um, it's been a wild, wild ride. Emotions going up and down and over and sideways. There's no joy in, in having the feeling that you just potentially have lost you know, your, your savings for the last next two years. Okay, so, whew, oh my God. Will and I did a ton of deep soul searching, or I did and Will came along for the ride, I don't know. <laughs> but we really needed to figure out what to do at this point. Do we continue on in this journey, RV? Do we reevaluate? That was all of our money. What do we do? We knew we needed this to occur because this is part of who we are and what we want to do. We want to travel with our kids. So we went back to our why, which is the kids, like Will said, and we decided to start looking now for or a never. second RV. We start looking. Day seven has arrived. This is the seventh day that we have had possession of this RVM. But we're gonna see if we can find something different, something new, something more exciting. Today there's an RV show going on in our town and we're just gonna go check that out. Oh, this is cute. This is the type that comes down like this. Okay, so this is really, really functional. It's uh, really functional. I like this and this is the kid's bed and our... Our bed will come down. Our fun. bed will come down. It's a lot of open space. The <gasps> this is the coolest thing, watch. I was looking for the door, watch what this door does. Back here, there's a toilet and look, it's a reversible door. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I have to tell you, frankly, I'm really kind of gun shy about buying about buying one now. It's been it's been eight days since we took possession of our faulty um, RV. And it's and in that time, we have jumped into high gear, resolution mode, problem solving to see what we can do because we don't want to delay this adventure. Um, and we've also been running our business at the same time and meeting with clients. And so it's been a really crazy, crazy week. And we are on the cusp of buying another one at this point. 
you know, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not nervous. I'm, I wasn't nervous initially. Now I'm, I'm really quite scared to death um, because we've been, we've been, um, what would be the word? We've been hijacked. Hijacked. <laughs> That's a good word, Marco. You know, we've been misinformed, so I'm really nervous now about purchasing another one. But in life, you just kind of have to keep moving forward and go with it and take that chance. So it is Tuesday, the day after we got back from Monaco, and we are now doing a final inspection on what we think is going to be our RV. What we think we're going to be calling Lemonade. Because we're turning lemons into lemonade. You, you get that? Ha, ha. <laughs> But it's it's really it's it's a 2009. It is a Burstner um, EXO 666, which is not an Omen, and it's it's actually really a, a great shape. It, okay, here we go. Does this feel like home to you? It does. It does. I've liked this one since the beginning. I like I like the burnt orange. It's kind of a world towning aged. <laughs> It's really great. I mean, I had hoped to not spend this much, but we've modified our plans so that we're going to stay in it a year longer in order to make the higher cost worth it. And I think it's necessary because Will and I run a business and um, we can't be in anything that's dangerous um, structurally because we have children and we have our own safety, as well as for our business because we have equipment and businesses to run. So we can't have anything that's leaking or has any type of um, mold hazard for us, our health. Um, so we did have to up our budget, but I think in the end it's it's worth it. I this is if I, I couldn't pick a more perfect one. Obviously, if if budget was of no concern, then obviously I could pick a perfect one. But this meets all of our needs. It has the bed that comes down. The kids each have their own bed. It has storage. I'd love more storage, but that's fine. We'll just simplify down. I mean, I can seat six up here. I think I think it's what we need, and it's in really good condition. It's German made. It's a great, strong brand. So I think we're making a really good decision. We found one! So there's no better joy than shopping, not for one RV, but for two RVs. We can joke about it now, it's really funny, but I'm gonna tell you, I was so scared. I mean, Will, no, I could not pull the trigger the second time I was back and forth, and what if, and what if this happens, and what if that happens, and what if we had to make some real changes in our finances and make some sacrifices and reevaluate in order to purchase the second one on the hope that we would get the money back from the first one, and I was, Petrified. But we were committed to the fact that not every RV had an issue. <laughs> right. There was we knew we that there was something there. In the RV trouble gods. Ah! <laughs> we got we found an RV that made us happy again. Yes. Happy. <laughs> we are now on our way because we got some really good news. The good news is that we have received word that the old owners of the RV uh, has they've agreed to give us back our money. So you know, they're saying that they didn't really know and they're saying that they didn't want their trust to be put into question, which is fine. You know, if they didn't know, they're doing the right thing. They're giving us the money back and we now have to go ahead and sign papers and we're gonna get everything squared away so that we can get this taken care of. But this is excellent, excellent, excellent news and we're super excited because this is one cloud that's gonna be lifting over our head and it's hopefully gonna just get all over and we're gonna be going on to much better, better, better things. So we lost 10 to 15 days of work days. We lost 3,000 euros in the whole Going process. Going back and forth and doing the travel and getting a specialist and order. And the loss and the currency conversion back and forth with the money. But happy ending, we got the money back for the purchase it of the was RV. Spectacular. The previous news. owners said that they were unaware of the damage, the rot, the mold, the water, and that they would honor the original contract and give us back our money. So, yay. I know. Good news, yay. guys. Yay. Yay. So here we go, RVing. Cloud lifted. Thank goodness. Today is the first day of a lot of things and the last day of a few things. And one of the last days is riding the train. The train. We think. I mean, I can't imagine why we'd be riding the train. We will ride it at some point during our European travels, but we're not gonna ride it as regular as we do now, basically, right? It's a very exciting day. I am super excited for this day to begin because we're going to go get the RV. The thing I'm most excited about for the RV is how we're gonna have bunk beds and how we'll finally have the bottom bunk. Alan, what are you excited about for the RV? 
my bed. That's it. You would think that these kids have been sleeping on the floor for the last two years. They're both so excited about their beds. I'm excited. I'm going to be on the top bunk finally. I'm excited to decorate my bed. So what I'm most excited about is connecting more as a family about being just a tighter knit group and and at this point we're about to enter what I think is going to be the coolest thing we've done yet. We've done a lot of new things. Bonjour. Bonjour. How are you? How are you? Fine. <laughs> Remember the kids? Our teachers? Voilà. Ceux qui parlent bien français. Okay, so we're at a place called TPL which is in a town called Obang. We're like 15 minutes from Marseille and this place has just about every kind of RV you can look for and it's got a really cool RV accessory shop next door. And there it is. Like There's our home for the next two years, maybe a little more. So it looks like they're done with all the upgrades that we had requested them to do. We had a new awning put in, we had a new solar panel put in, uh, a, an inverter. So we still have a lot more and I think we're going to learn about this whole RV life is that you're never done spending money. This is sailing light from what I hear. Is there room for all of us? Are you excited, Largo? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, no, I'm so. excited. Double command on the EC. The test of the battery. It's going to charge. Uh... Position zero. Now it's the installation. So I shouldn't get this one, then I should ask him. So we're now at the stage in which we are being led around the RV parts and supply store and he's trying to get us to buy everything there actually is. No, and not. and the hard part is, is he's that not doing that. we want to buy everything Will here. wants to buy everything, but the guy's not doing that. We are in our RV. This is a dream we've had for how many years, guys? I don't know. Three, 110 maybe? Oh, we finally realized this dream and it is a pretty cool moment. It took a lot to get here. Um, this RV did not drop in our lap and it was not handed to us for free. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of hard work, but we made it. We made it, right Will? It's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a wild ride. Especially with Will driving. And this is the end, this is how, or the beginning. Whichever way you look of at how it. we got our RV. Glasses half full, glasses half empty. <laughs> but we are now in proud possession of an RV that is going to be ours and it's going to travel all of Europe with us and maybe parts of more. Africa and maybe east of Europe. We'll see. But we are now a full time RVing family and we are loving it. Yes, we love it. It's only been a week so far, but we love it and we love our RV. Now, not everyone should go through this type of, of adventure that we went through <laughs> to get your RV. Please don't, please don't go through it. But it's an amazing life and we cannot wait to start going full time all the time, which is starting now. Here we go. See you guys next time and make sure to keep watching our adventures because we're gonna see some really amazing places in Europe. Applause! <laughs> you have to be, uh, you have to be a crazy. Now, because well, after, it's, uh, really Afterwards, we're too old. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Works right, to live by. <laughs> <laughs>